Hello, I'm going to run you today through uh, the beta version of our new software application called Street Runner. Um, it's version beta version right now. It is a fully integrated highway navigation system designed for basically high speed runs. This is a Asus R2H. It has a built in GPS, but through this USB cable right here, we are connected into a hub, which connects to a variety of different components throughout the car. So we have a built-in um, two meter ham radio that's been modified for um, transmitting and receiving on um, sheriff frequencies. Um, we have a radar jammer, front and rear. And one of the cool things about our software is that um, through, through the integration, we are able to um, run a, well, there's so many things, I, I don't even know where to start, but basically we have a, um, a software display of a Valentine V1. So that isn't anywhere in the cockpit, but that is hidden down in front of the car. And we have designed software that can give that on the display of this UMPC. Along with that, uh, like I said, we have three GPS's for um, tracking your route at any given time. So the main thing, the main screen of this, and I'll, I'll show close-ups of this, um, it's in pause mode. So um, we have, right now it's in, in route one, um, three minutes into the route, and we've got uh, 59 minutes to finish a distance of 131 miles. So right now our speed is zero, and of course we are in pause mode. Um, it shows our real-time miles per gallon and our uh, uh, maintenance speed. So you'll see in parentheses a maintenance speed. That is the speed that you need to go to achieve that um, distance in the given amount of time. And so this whole thing calculates real-time depending on the speed that you're driving, the route that you're taking. Basically, you have, it all comes down to this probability meter. So right now we are paused or this would be dropping. Um, if we've got a probability of 67% of achieving the goal of 131 miles in 59 minutes. So um, this other display right next to it says minus 8%. So that minus 8% means it has dropped 8% in the, the last few moments so you, it is lowering if it was running right now it would still be dropping and it would drop down to you know zero if I kept sitting here for a few more minutes um, up at the top of the screen you see a little thing JMMR that's uh, your radar jammer so the radar jammer has two modes there's jammers front and back and so the jammer can be in manual mode you can execute it on uh, manually or it can be run by um, where the signal's coming from on the Valentine one. So if you've got uh, something ahead, um, it'll turn the jammer on ahead. If it's behind, it'll just be behind. Along with that, this is integrated into the DME of this car. So, um, and we get information like um, amount of fuel left and um, miles per gallon. But um, along with that, we can control the brake lights. So the turning off the brake lights when you hit the brakes can be controlled through software. Down here you see a Google Earth export. So this runs a full version of Google Earth with all the routes pre-planned and um, available to display. So you can export from this program your current um, planned route into Google Earth. And there's a whole bunch of other screens for setting up these these routes that I'm not showing you at this time. This is the main function screen of the software. Below that we have, right now we're in Northern California. So we have the um, Northern California um, radio listings. As you travel, that will be automatically changed to, depending on your area. Um, that includes a scanning of frequencies in that range. Um, on this display, you can see that it has um, amateur radio frequencies, well, two meter frequencies and CB radio frequencies. We do have the ability to burst 
transmission, 300 watt transmission in an om omnidirectional pattern from the car. Um, so if you hear something, it is possible to cover that and we're working on testing and seeing what the um, optimal wattage is for that. Right now it's 300 watts, uh, that might go up, might go down, might change with uh, different antenna setups. Um, you can see a, a waveform monitor right here. And so basically in the, in the trunk we have a, a two meter and a CV radio installed and they're in little boxes. And um, this, it's completely controlled by software. Along the right side, you see a very, very basic type GPS display. Now this will change in the future and show as you're driving um, alternate routes and those routes will change color by their probability of um, you being able to succeed in your goal. Uh, all of these things can be linked back through data shared. We have a lot of room for growth and a lot of room for changes uh, in that. Well, the main feature of the software, well, one of the two main features are, so let's say you get tagged, um, you're getting followed. It has hidden button. So what that hidden button do does is it will take you according to your current position to the place where you're least likely to be found. Um, along with that, we have the reroute button. So you need an emergency reroute. This will switch to um, another, um, well, we have different ways for routing. So this is designed to be the best software to defeat that 32 hour seven record that now stands. And right now you see the USB cable that is running to get the data from that it is hooked into the systems. We're planning to have this run straight off Bluetooth. So um, you might ask too, how's Google Earth going to work on this? That is through a Bluetooth um, 3G connection to a phone. So that's, uh, and it can change depending on the area. It's not just 3G. This car is a 2007 BMW M Coupe. Uh, it has the um, S54 engine. It is um, in a color that's most conducive to not being spotted, and we have tested this in um, long, smaller routes, uh, two to 300 miles, and um, haven't had a problem so far. So um, the software works. It, it's in a, a very beta state, but um, we definitely have no doubt that um, we can defeat the 32 hour, seven minute record that stands now.